This is D3 Bird and Flirt. Flirt. <laughs> All right, so my shot goes off of punishing the opponent for mistakes they make in their posture or their foot positioning. So whenever I'm wrestling, my stance for me is everything. If they're below my head, I can't wrestle. So to me, no matter where they are, I have to be below their chin for my shot to actually work. Be it going for double legs, my outside single leg, which I'm going over, really anything. I have to be below them. Thankfully, everyone in Jiu Jitsu doesn't know how to actually keep a stance, and they'll just let you win this battle most of the time. But if they don't let you win that battle, if they're keeping level with you, like actually match, something you can do is pay attention, like match my posture level. You can pay attention to when they're matching you, mirroring, and then lift up and shoot underneath them. So if they're here, at any point in that where she went above me at all, I can just shoot. The other ways to get this is I'll play with mercy grip or I'll club their head to make them posture or I'll actually tie up. But what my shot actually is, is it's based off of the gi. If the gi is there, I would be feeding the lapel. So in the no gi, I just grab the knee or the foot. So watch up a little bit just so I can go in. So I'm not penetrating with this leg. I actually shoot to the outside. This is why a lot of wrestlers don't like my shot. So I'm shooting out, coming in, grabbing the knee, scooping out, and I'm just coming up with this. And this will lead into, you know, just running the pipe or switching to the hip. This is a very effective entry for me, but it's punishing them for their mistakes. So for here, it doesn't really have to be really super set up. I just have to see it to go for it. So if they're keeping a much better job, keeping uh, low, that's when I'll start reaching out for this mercy grip. This means I can move her around and force this into here. At this point, I would probably let go, but I don't have to. I could still try and wrestle from here. And I can, if I know the person's a good wrestler, I can be up here trying to feed that. If that doesn't work, if I have this and I can't really move them, now I'm gonna club their head down and try and spike them a little bit. I'm not trying to take them all the way to the mat. Whenever you club their head for this, I don't grab the back of their neck. I grab right here. Because if you grab the back of their neck, nothing happens. Grab the top crown of the head, you can fold their posture. And then they have to really overreact to get this to work. To not get punished, I mean. And I don't need this for that to work. I could just go for this immediately. I'll start by the neck and I'll roll this over top to spike her head down. As she reacts to that, I can go for my double legs. I can go for my outside singles. I have a lot of options anytime someone is posturing up over above me. So if I was up high and I did this, she postured up, there's no mistake, I'm too high. I need to be ready to shoot off of a trigger. Boom. That's my shot. So anytime we're wrestling here, I can start moving their posture around, making them posture up. I can keep track of when they mirror me, or I can get the mercy grip, pull myself in. Another good trick to doing this, especially if she's leading with the other leg, and I know I want that leg, is I'll force a tie up here. Now, my grip here, I want to be able to move her with that. So from this grip, I'm actually cupping this, take my elbow in, and moving her off of the, the tie up. I'm not trying to spike her head down, I'm just using that as a connection. So if I'm here, my elbows are in the inside, I'm gonna take a step back, circle, and flare while I level change in this. So without anyone there, I'm circling out, just getting underneath her. I don't wanna get sprawled on, so I'm trying to really get to the outside. I'm basically flinging her body up to force her to posture up again. Now I'm getting in on this. If uh, she didn't step with that, if she stepped with this one, I'll push her this way and I'll pull her this way. 
because I want this foot to step. I'm watching that leg. So if she was doing a really good job keeping that, I'm gonna push to make her weight go on that leg. Then I'm gonna circle and open her. See how I'm really flinging this by? So the problem with this shot is when I come in here in the Noki, they can kick their leg out. Yep. And a lot of times people do that immediately. I can either chase them down from here, go for a body lock, that's a win, or I can try and catch right here and pull their knee down to guarantee a body lock. So in any of these, I get in on the leg, she goes to switch, I'm trying to catch this just to delay it for a millisecond to give myself enough time to get to a good body lock connection. I'm, when I shoot for this, I'm planning on either of these working. I'm thinking of both in mind. I can also just hug it, pull it into me. Don't let her knee turn that way, because once it goes, it might go. So if I can keep that knee turned into me, I have it. And now she goes flying. So, some of the variations, I get that mercy grip. I just, I seriously shoot from a very far distance for this, especially in the gi. In the gi, I'll go for this off the touch go, the slap hands. So I'm just feeding the lapel. Once I have this fed, you should always be able to capitalize on this. Be it bumping her as she pushes me back down, or just wrestling up. So you can use this in the key or no key, but gi is better. So, right around here. Or I can just be better than them at keeping a stance. See if she's leading with this leg, that's when I'm gonna force a tie up, or go for these grips, or switch to something else. She leads with this leg, now we're playing. If she makes any mistake, I'm in on this. And this is my version of the outside single leg. And this is Fleur. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.